So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires Borbile tea. Just go and see Otto, will you? All right. <laughs> and how might this old soul be of service? I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. You are always welcome, Clive. Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a Mother Crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. But that's gods for you, innit? Still. Might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. 
The Veil. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Ah, oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Quick look. Or Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. But how did the gross know his Sun setting fast. Can I have another? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. 
And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well? Don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Don't tell me. Turnips for some. Brother, did you... Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. You'd like to see what's behind that door, wouldn't you? We're not on my watch. But how did the grocer know his dog? That'll be enough for today. Don't tell me. Turnips for some. Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Here! <laughs> 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 
to them. I better let Quentin's man know. Don't tell me. Turn him for something. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> face before you're a friend of Martha's help us I beg you help you with what bandits in the golden stables they're waving their swords around I think they're gonna kill someone when I saw what was happening I slipped out the back I should have stayed but oh, please help them all right I'll see to your problem thank you how many were there I was out of the door too fast to count they looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Ha! <laughs> Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. 
What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lads. I want that plane. Let's get this over with. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, it takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Well, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and, uh, take care of yourself. Here you go. Seen enough? Take a seat, Clive. I'll get you Clive, was it? 